Yeah, what's up, YouTube? This is the Neo Podcast, episode 152. 152, 152 weeks. Chat, how many years is that? Somebody hurry up and figure it out. 52 plus 52 would be 104, plus 52 would be 156. So we're closing in on three years, huh? We're, we're four weeks away from three years. Look at that math. It's Upper Darby High School, baby. Honestly, what I realize the older I get is that everything you learn in high school, you never use, right? High school is the most honor. You don't use any high school. The shit you learn in middle school and like grade school, yeah, that's important. Y'all got to pay attention to middle school. High school, bro, to kill a mockingbird, all that other. Come on, man. Algebra, the Texas calculators that cost $100, right? Got to make sure you, you, you learn your graphing. Learn to graph on your calculator. They didn't know. we. All them smart ass teachers didn't know we'd have smartphones, right? 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 You'll never have a calculator with you. Two years later, we got we got i we got iPhones and shit. Crazy, yeah. But but grade school, pay attention to that, boys, because you will need to grade school. High school, high school is a scam. High school should have. High school should have taxes, credit, and like fixing the toilet. That should be high school. For real, for real. For real. Swear to God. 21 months, my man Jones. Reborn 15 months. This is the Neo Podcast. Change the tire. You know, basic mechanic. I did take uh, engines. Engines one. I learned. I don't even remember. We took apart like a Briggs and Stratton. I could, you know, about valves and shit. About two cycle engines, four cycle engines. Yeah, I know about that stuff. But I know about two cycle engines because that's all chainsaws and all, you know, weed whackers and stuff like that. But this is the Needy Podcast 152. And we get to talk about a tournament. You know, honestly, it's not too much to talk about, but we will talk about it. But I was gone for about a week, boys. And, you know, my man Buster Harley, the legend. That guy, that guy Buster Harley. Watch out for him. Probably the cool, probably the coolest dude in Madden Twitch. Swear to God. Outside of me, I mean, I gotta be like top five coolest Madden Twitch people. Like between between chatters and streamers. Like y'all gotta realize, y'all are part of Madden Twitch. Like don't 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 y'all honestly a bigger part than me because without y'all, I mean, I don't even we can't even do Madden Twitch. Facts, Buster. That dude's a, that dude's a legend. My man Noah with two months. Let's go. All right, listen. But anyway, high school scam. Fr what would I learn? European history, the French Revolution. Like, what can you? What do you learn in history class you can't learn watching a movie? For real. Honestly. Now. I'm just trying to think of high school, boys. What was like your most... When you think about high school, what was your most useful class? Now, I'm a regular human. You know, I didn't become a doctor. I don't know. Some of y'all might not be regular humans. Some of y'all might be, you know, y'all might really be accountants. So, math, algebra might have really been an important class. For them. But I'm a regular human, right? So, for me, I don't, I'm trying to think what was my most retainable knowledge I learned in high school. Honestly, though, this is what school does to you, right? It prepares you for the real world of having responsibilities. That's what it does. It's not about what you learn. It's about waking up every day, being responsible, going to school, getting your shit done. Now, me, I didn't get my shit done. So, you know, maybe some of y'all did. But, you know, that's kind of what it's about. So nobody went to high school. Okay. Look at Vols. Vols does so much school. Between his like his glasses and Vols schooling, he definitely gonna have a crazy job. You know, he gonna have a crazy, crazy job. All right. It, here's another question. In high school, does is anybody working in the field they wanted to when they were like in ninth and tenth grade? Did anybody like go through high school and have their plan and like that's what you became as a job? 
Does anybody do that? Like, give me an example of what you wanted to be in high school when you were like, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to study for this. This is what my goal is. Did anybody have a plan? Did anybody have an idea in high school? I honestly, I don't even really remember. I don't even know. Dentist? My man, Rob, what's up, man? A sports trainer. JMH, what is your plan? Psych, psychosis, therapist, what? Y'all smarter than me. Oh, shit. Game developers. Okay, Biddy with 13 months. Heavy. Sparks in here with 10 months. Yeah, so I don't know. I didn't have no damn plan. I'm still winging it by the seat of my pants right now, boys. But I watch a lot of motivational TikToks. I'll tell you. They tell me to just go get it. And I look at the TikTok. They go get what? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Go get it. Nobody's going to stop you from being you. Okay. You know, but it kind of gets me motivated. You gotta go get it. No, I mean, the motivational stuff, like, I, I watch the motivational shit, but like, get up, and Kobe, Kobe be having all these crazy ass, Kobe be having all these crazy ass quotes, right? Kobe is 6'8", or was, rest in peace to the great Kobe. Like, damn. Right? Kobe ain't struggled like us. His father played in the league. He ain't struggled like us. Why he the main... Uh, Kobe got all the motivational quotes. I'll tell you what. Kobe was taller than me. Tell you that. E.T., motivational goat. But everything Kobe says, it makes you like open your eyes like, damn, okay. But he said the most base. He said... Keep working, cause you working and nobody else working. And you, when Kobe says it, it's like, damn, okay. But then I realized that Drinny has the same motivational thoughts, but it's not the same when it when it comes from Drinny. You know what I'm saying? All the I feel like motivational speaking and it's it's all about your 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 presence and your delivery, right? It's the way somebody says something makes it motivational. I swear to God. Work harder, not faster. Fast work is lazy work. But, f like, you know what I'm saying? When you're sleeping, somebody's working. And then when Kobe says, like, damn, okay. If I told y'all that shit, y'all would just laugh at me. Don't be shut up. You got to sleep. Things don't come to you. You come to them. Exactly. Delivery is more important. Yeah, Ray Lewis says nothing, but says everything. I went to the club Saturday. Two of my boys got hit in the face by some dudes. Then when we got there to help, they ran. So, Mal, your boys got jumped and you didn't do anything. That's pretty much what I hear from that. Kobe, Malo, you need to watch more Kobe motivational videos. If you let your man get beat up and you ain't do nothing, that's crazy. Nah, you got to watch some Kobe motivational videos. Let me hook you up. Let me hook you up with them TikTok accounts, bro. They be going crazy. They be playing the music behind it. They get right in the eyes like the time is now, not tomorrow, not Tuesday, not even the weekend. The time is now. And you be sitting there on some fat shit. Looking at your phone, right? And you see the ball, like, right here. Time is now. And you don't know who the hell half of the people are until they show Kobe. But you're like, oh, shit. Time to, you don't really know what to do, 
but it makes you sit up. Like when Mal, when Malo got his friends got beat up, if he would have thought about the motivation, he would have been there to fight, dancing instead of fighting. Yeah, I mean he's Canadian, he's a French Canadian. Yeah, Malo saw. Let me tell you something. You see everything. It's just how you react. Malo saw the rumble. But then he waited till the guy scampered. Then he showed up like, what's up? What's up, man? Where are you at? You know how, you know that type? When they can be real tough, when they know it's not going to go down? Yeah, you know that tough. Yo, what's up? Where are they at, Scott? They over there, Scott. They left. Damn, Scott. I would have whooped all their asses. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, it happens. It happens. Where is Dollar? I tell you, we gotta stop making fun of Dollar and his girlfriend with the with the big max. Cause he doesn't come back. Like Dollar will Dollar will like really disappear over that Big Mac thing. I'm telling you. He don't like that. Damn, I just banned that dude. He's some 13 and have a kid on the way, and I banned him. What's crazy is that kid was probably trolling, right? But if he wasn't trolling, I was a little that was a little messed up that I banned him that fast. That's a little messed up, I'll be honest. But he was probably trolling. I banned him. What happened with Dollar? I panic if you missed it. I mean, the chat can fill you in. I'm not. I'm not going over it again. That, that's one of my loyal viewers. I can't really. And I realize he's sensitive about it. You know, I roast the loyals all the time. But Dollar is sensitive, so I can't roast him. You know, that he. When, like you got to you gotta deal. Like, when you're a coach. Like, I'm a coach. I'm the coach of the stream, pretty much. Like, y'all are my players, right? Now, some of y'all could yell at and roast all day. But Allen is like, he the soft, like, he the soft type. Like, you can't really. You got to. He a pat on the back type. Like, Rag, Ragusa. He don't. You can say anything you want to him. He don't. He don't even like show emotion. But Allen, he's like a. You gotta like. You did good today, buddy. Thank you. You did great. <laughs> no, your team exactly. So Allen, I can't. I'm not gonna tell the story again. If y'all missed the story, then y'all missed the story. I can't really, I can't tell that story again. But I was on vacation watching my motivational TikToks with Kobe and one had Denzel Washington. I need more, it needs more Ray Lewis on that page, to be honest. Then I watched one dude on TikTok that just airs you out for being a lazy piece of shit. Swear to God, he just cusses the whole time. Blah, 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 you lazy piece of shit. Get off your effing ass. All you do is sit around and do nothing. What? It's not going, it's not going, it's not going to give it to you. You got to go get it, you fat shit. I swear to God. I don't know who the dude is, but, but I be watching. I be like, oh, okay, okay. I'm telling you, that, this what happened last time is that Allen disappeared, and then I—I uh, I don't know who Goggins is. Does he be going crazy like that? I might have to watch him. My—I was on vacation. I left Thursday at midnight and drove to Kansas City, which is ten hours from here. Now, every time I go, somehow it gets longer and longer. Pause. That sounded wild. Y'all be clipping wild shit. So, I drove from Columbus to Kansas City, which is ten hours, and then so I get there at like one. I hang out with my cousin and her husband, and they have three kids. They have a 10-year-old daughter, a 7-year-old son, and a 4-year-old son. So I play Madden with their sons and stuff like that. And uh, RG, I, or uh, what was I saying? I got, I gave them the, the new Madden. They were playing Madden 21, so I gave them the new Madden. They were super happy about that. And uh, so I play football. But, yeah, I beat, I beat the hell out of them. No. Now, the first time, now I don't see the I don't see these cousins a lot. Like I'm talking like once a year, right? So the boy don't really know me that like they don't know me like that well, you know. So I'm playing them. They know I play Madden like full time, right? I'm like a pro at Madden. 
supposedly. But so I'm playing the kid and I'm like, okay, so you know me, I'm like, I'm going to talk shit, right? Regardless if you're four years old or 44 years old. Now, these, these kids are like, they're like a little from Kansas city. They're a little sheltered, right? So I didn't really know what his vibe was when he was playing Madden. Like, is he going to be a kid that talks shit or is he going to just chill and like, so I was whooping his ass. The first guy I started talking to him, and he really wasn't, he was kind of sad. I was like, Oh damn. Okay. So now I let him come back and beat me. He was super happy. He was actually kind of smart at Madden for seven years old. He was actually kind of solid. I'll be honest. I was a little bit impressed. He was a little bit. So I let him come back and beat me the first time. Then I came back this weekend. Then what he did was he put his four year old brother on my team. Right? So I'm giving, so I'm like, I, I put the four year old at running back. Right? So we're playing two on one, right? You know? So I'm giving him the ball. I'm saying, run, right? Run straight. And he having fun. I'm like, run. I'm, and I, first of all, now I let him do every play till fourth down and we win. So we play again, and now he he took his little brother, and they kind of you know secretly cheated me. So he would I would give the ball to the kid, and he would just run back and get a safety, and he would keep doing this. So I got mad, and then I whooped their ass. Then it was like it was like twenty eight to four because he did it twice. He did it twice. Then what I did because the the four year old not that smart. The four year old not I'm telling you now not that a four year old supposed to be smart. But I outsmarted the shit out the four-year-old, right? So I ran out. First of all, the kid wants to play six-minute quarters. I'm like, oh, fucking God, like, bro. Let's play three minutes. So I put accelerated clock on. I go into I form. So after they cheated me, so I'm just run, 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 run the clock like as fast as possible. But one thing that made me mad about, on a side note, about my, my cousins, they had no idea about the clock. Like, they just were playing. I'm just sitting here. He got the ball, and it's like one minute left in the second quarter. He's just running. He don't give a shit about the time. I'm like, man, I'm a little disappointed in this. Do I tell him? I want to get out of here. Yeah, I, I milked the hell out of him. But he didn't really know about the time. I was a little disappointed in that, honestly. So so the the, the, the little brother are going to take the ball and run and get a safety. Now I'm, now they're giggling, but I'm a little pissed. Right? I'm like, what are, you, what are you? First of all, you know how much time how much time it takes to do a safety get a safety, kick it off. That's like a whole extra five minutes. Right? So I'm pissed off. Like, all right, dude, I'm milking him. So I outsmarted him. So we're in the iPhone. I said, yo, his name was Daxton. I'm like, yo, Daxton, press B. So he pressed B. So his ass was stuck on the fullback every play. But he didn't know. He thought he was still running. <laughs> and so he was stuck on the fullback. I just kept pounding that shit. I wound up milking them, but I blew them out and stuff. But they were smart. Then I gave them the new Madden. This year's Madden. And when you're a kid like that young and you get the new Madden, like, oh, it's gold. I gotta invite my friends over tomorrow. So that was dope. But uh, so I was in Kansas City. So I, I just stay with them like during the day and get a little nap, and then I drive at night again. So like I was up during the day, and then every night I was driving. So. Thursday night I drove to Kansas City. Then Friday night I drove to Colorado, Colorado Springs, and uh, we stayed there with my my uncle and my aunt. We stayed at their place, got a good night's sleep, chilled with my family. Uh, then Sunday morning we drove up to Denver, which is like an hour away from Colorado. So we drove up to Denver. We had a hotel, so we parked there. We put the truck in the parking lot. We grilled up some burgers, some dogs. Had a lot of brews. Probably got to the game. The game started at 2.30, which was weird for, like, that's a weird-ass time to start games at 2. That little mountain time or whatever it is, that, that, that shit is weird. A game starting at 2.25 is nasty. Y'all nasty human beings. 2.25 football? Right, so I, well, first of all, you got to drive because I have my truck for the tailgate. The truck is the best thing for a tailgate. Cause you just like open up the tailgate, like drop the, t- and then that's your whole table. I had a little grill. Yeah, the two. Th- so anyway, we get to the, we get to the parking lot like 11, 11 a.m. I think the, the the three hour tailgate is is perfect. I don't know how y'all get down, but the three hour like t- one hour is not enough. You run one hour is trash. If you go one hour, you might as well stay home. Two hours is is solid, but it's a it could definitely it could definitely uh it could definitely slow you down. 
two hours, you can't get that much in. But three hours, you you can get a solid. You can get lathered. You know what I'm saying? You can get some grub in you. Yeah, the three hours. See, the sickos that tailgate for like seven hours, they're a little nasty. I mean, I feel like the 10 a.m. is nasty, but at least you get the 1 p.m. that you're used to, right? That two, that 2.30, that like, I think it's like 11 a.m. and 2.30, that's the super is nasty. Yeah, 11 a.m. and 2, that's nasty. So, yeah, so then we went to the game. I saw my man, Lucky J. He pulled up to the game, kicked it with him for a little bit, got some brews. Um, The Eagles flooded. The Eagles, honestly, the Eagles could make the playoffs. I know that's not the biggest sports talk show, but, I mean, the Eagles could make a, make the playoffs. They Just saying. Like, let's, let's, let me give you my power rankings of the NFC. Um... I think you got to go Cardinals, Packers. Cardinals got to get Kyler back. Cardinals, Packers, Cowboys, Bucks, Rams. That's probably your top five, right? Undisputed. That's everybody's top five, right? So then after five, you go where? Then you then you group in a bunch of teams like the Vikings, the Saints. The Niners, the the Eagles, like that's a whole group of after six six and seven are a group of bullshit teams for real, like honestly. Am I right? Like six, seven, eight, nine in NFC is winnable, but I'll tell you, the Eagles play the Saints this weekend, and if they win this game, I feel like they're I feel like they're easily going to make the playoffs. Yeah, six and seven in NFC is winnable. Eagles play the Saints. I don't know how to – I know the Saints are going to be solid. I know the Saints have a good defense. I know they got Lattimore, who they're probably going to put Lattimore on. Devontae, who's been going crazy. But Lattimore is probably – what? where's Lattimore in the, NF, in, in the corner conversation? He's got to be top five corner, right? Lattim, Laddie, he's got to be top five, right? You probably think Ramsey. Who else? Jair, maybe. I don't know. But he's up there. He's good. But uh, the problem is Simeon, for real. We'll see. But it should be a good game. The Eagles haven't won at home in like a year. But if the Eagles win this game, I think they have the inside track. Because then they play the Jets, the Giants twice, the Skins twice. And, like, the Cowboys last game of the season. The Cowboys could be first seed clinch. I know it hurts to say, but they could be. So they could maybe they don't even play nobody. So, yeah, the Eagles, the Eagles, honestly, are, are, they have their strengths. Like, they're, they're ass, but they have their strengths. See, I, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm not here to talk about NFL because I, I was telling my cousins, people always ask me about the NFL like I know, like I got answered, like I'm Boomer Esiason or some shit. I just watch the games. You're right, Barry Smug. They should just blitz everybody every play, dude. Eagles defense sucks, bro. What do you want me to tell you? I don't matter if they blitz or don't blitz. They blitz. Their defense sucks. I will give you the. I'll give you this. They haven't given up, given up any big plays. Now they play some bitch ass, but they haven't given up any big plays. And you could be successful with this. You know what I'm saying, go fund yourself. Whole year, let's get it. Yeah, yummy, 10 months. I really don't care about seed. If you tell me the Eagles can get in the playoffs, I don't care about seed. What they, they're, not, they're fucking four and six. It's about seed. Yeah, you're right, bro. They went out, they get the four seed. That's why I don't talk football. It's just, they'll start pissing me off. You know why I don't talk football? You know why I don't talk football? Because I wind up sounding like y'all. I don't want to sound stupid. My goal in the life is to not sound stupid. That's why when I go to Home Depot, I don't ask Sally where the hell the pliers are. Because I look like an asshole. Hey, Sally, do you know where the pliers are? Hey, dickhead, they're in the hardware section. It says it right there, hardware. I'm saying? I don't want to look like an asshole. In fact, I live my life to not look like an asshole. Y'all have no problem looking and sounding like assholes. Right? You know what I'm saying? 
Nah. I would rather waste time than look like an asshole. You could look like an asshole and have more time on your hands or just not be an asshole. You know what I'm saying? In fact, wasting time, you might be an asshole, but don't nobody know you're an asshole. It's okay to be an asshole if nobody knows. Right? They work there for a reason. Here's what's going to happen to you. This is the bit, and I've been over this a million times. I go to Sally. Hey, Sally, where's the pipe fittings? I'm changing my plumbing under the toilet. What does Sally do? Um, let me get Bruce. So now I'm standing here waiting for Sally to get fucking Bruce. Now I'm sitting here for 15 minutes waiting for Sally don't know where the hell my pipe fittings are. She don't know where the shark bites are. Chat doesn't know about the shark bites, but you know. Because the chat, me and the chat not here with the shark bites. But Sally doesn't know where the shark bites are. So she's getting Bruce. Bruce is over there on the forklift in the back of the store. So it takes 20 minutes. Now I could have just found the shark bites by myself. No. Let me tell you something, Teddy. If I'm looking for the pipe fittings for 15 minutes, I'm an idiot. All right? And in fact, if I take 15 minutes to find a shark bites, now we'll go ask Sally. All right? But I'm going to tell you, asking somebody is my last, I'm telling you, my last, my last, uh, what you going to call it? My last resort. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 30 minutes behind because I couldn't find the damn pipe fittings. Now, first of all, let me tell y'all something about Home Depot. I'm not in that joint lost. Them shits are all kind of the same, boys. Okay? Let's reel that in real quick, okay? Like, anything. Whatever Lowe's. First of all, why would somebody say Lowe's is better? Y'all just want to fucking argue. Yo, who has a preference on Lowe's or Home Depot? What? <laughs> what? Y'all just want to argue. Who gives a shit? Yo, for real. Yo, that's really when you realize the world just want to argue. My man Jits, five gifted. That's crazy. For like, but they just want to argue. The world just wants to argue. Lowe's or Home Depot. Because I'm going to go get a, a screwdriver. Right? I will tell you this. Home Depot is the best place ever. And I, I swear I told you this before, boys. Home Depot will let you return anything. You can get a sledgehammer, sledge some concrete for 12 hours, and return that bitch. I swear to God. Now Lowe's probably does the same thing. And honestly, if there's a Lowe's down the street, I'm going to the Lowe's. My whole home, impro home improvement store... Uh, selection is based on location. Yeah. Menards. Menards is so Midwest. Ugh. Like Macy's or TJ Maxx. If they're, or what's not Macy's? Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Like, dude, they're the same store, right? But if one's closer, I'm going to that one. My boy used to steal from Home Depot and return the shit for money. God damn. Anyway, what were we talking about Home Depot for? Oh, yeah, how y'all just sound like idiots. But that's my goal, to never, never look like an asshole. That's one of my goals, boys. It's one of my goals, for real. Then, like, there's some tools where I feel like... Now, obviously, as, like, as like I was in a trade, like, the tree trade, so you get, like, a chainsaw, right? There's a big difference between the Home Depot chainsaw and a real chainsaw, Right? And is anybody else in some other, like, is anybody a mason or an electrician 
where like your specific tools, you need a good pair of those. Like if you're an electrician, you probably need like a 99 overall linesman pliers or a 99 overall like the, like electrician pliers or, or a snipper or whatever. You need, you need a really good, you know what I'm saying? Like a gamer, MJ, that's what I'm saying. I'm not buying, I have, I have an Elite 2 Xbox controller, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but for some things, I swear to God, I like, do I need, do me, the, the gamer guy, do I need a special screwdriver? Do I need the, this $40 screwdriver? Do I? See, I don't think power tools from Home Depot are trash. Why do I need something better than, than the, the Ryobi? Right? Why do I need a drill that's better than Ryobi? Right? I think the Ryobi holds me down. But herein lies where I realize. Herein lies where I realize is when my cousin had the Ryobi, the blower for the leaves. I was like, yo, this is the most bullshit. Cause I know about I know about blowers. Pause from doing the tree work. Milwaukee tools. I have a Milwaukee hammer. I bought a good hammer. Now, this is what I mean. Now, in the crib, I've got this hammer. Now, this is the in the crib hammer. This is a standard ass. It don't even have a name. That's how old this hammer is. Well, you look at this. This is the standard in the house hammer. Right? This is this is like this is like if you look up if you look up the the emoji on your phone for hammer, this would be it. Well, I have a tools over here. I have I have a box where I have a shelves, right? My top shelves is like shit that I use, like gamer subs, like I use often. The middle shelf is like my electronics, like extra wires, extra controllers, shit like that. And the bottom shelf is like my tools. I got my picture frame and stuff in there, screwdrivers, tape measure, razor knife. My bottom shelf is where I keep some of my tools. But in the truck, I got them. I bought the Milwaukee. The hammer I got in the truck, that's for murder. That's not for... Yo, the hammer I have in the truck, because that it's a, it's a miracle working hammer. You could do a million things with it. This is standard hammer. It'll hang some pictures. I'm saying, I'm telling you, the murder hammer. That joint, like, whew, I want to go get it and show y'all. It's crazy. Is this a Stanley? I don't know. It's, it's like a Walmart special. But this is a solid hammer. You know what I'm saying, it's all you need. Now, this is what I mean: is that why does that Milwaukee hammer that was probably like twenty eight dollars? Why is that better than this this eight dollar hammer right here? Now, if you're if you're a carpenter, that's probably a lot better. But for me, I don't know. The murder hammer is crazy, dude. I'm telling you, I want to go grab it. The murder hammer is crazy. No, I have a tool bag in the car. and I have a tool bag in the truck. I haven't used it at all. But my dad, we always had a tool bag. It's like natural to have a bag of tools in the truck, right? You got a couple sockets, a couple socket sets, a ratchet, some a screwdriver set a hammer, some rope. I got two, I got a hundred foot line. I got a 50 foot line. I got a bunch of razor knives, you know, stuff like that. You never know. Yeah. Rope. Y'all don't carry rope and see what, well, when you're tree, when you do the trees, you're always around rope is like when you cut down trees or do tree work, rope is like essential for real, for real. See, bungee cord, rope, tree people don't do bungee cords. They're for, they're for bots. My man, Eagles, with the gifted. Murder hammer, knives, and rope. I mean, that's about what it's like in there. I'll be honest. Yeah. I do have a pair of gloves. I do have gloves. I do. Okay. Or we are getting even worse. What else do I got in the truck? I might have some tape. <laughs> I might have some duct tape back there.
the best gloves you can buy. Do you guys wear good? Where, where are the people that actually work? I can't talk to you guys that work. I can't talk to the Mallows in the chat. I can't talk to the Mallows in the chat. No, I don't want. I want people to actually work. All right. But the best gloves are just the all leather, the, like the deerskin yellow, all leather gloves. They're the best gloves for real. Chase, my guy, two months, man. I have the garbage bags in the house. They're not in the truck. So I probably should have one or two in the truck. Chase, two months. Thank you, man. The cowhide, them joints, the yellow ones. They're the best gloves, I swear to God. K-Mac working. Imagine that. Did, do y'all remember his video when he's going to fight Joke? When he had, like, lacrosse sticks in the house? And he had... K-Mac had pads for every... He had elbow pads. How do you have elbow pads? Like, when your parents buy you elbow pads, they have money for extra shit. Like, the elbow pads are the last shit you buy. The elbow pads are, like... What else can I buy? Like, you done got the helmet. You done got the gloves. You done got the roller blades. You done got the knee pads. And you say, hey, might as well get the elbow pads too. Buckets, I have a 350. So, went to Colorado, went to the game. Good times. Eagles flooded. Eagles will make the playoffs. Then I drove. I stayed in Denver uh, Sunday night, drove to Colorado Springs, stayed there Monday night, and then drove to Kansas City for Tuesday night and drove home today. I mean, Obey, that's pretty much where I'm at. They mando. I do not like guns. I hate guns. I'm afraid of guns. Oh, I have about 13,000 miles on my truck that I bought when my son was born. So like February, 13,000 miles. But it's a diesel and we bought a diesel so I can get 300,000 miles on it. So, I am saying. No, I don't hunt or anything. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I shot a lot of both. I have my archery merit badge. I shot some... Uh, these are good questions for Rapid Fire. Yeah, we got to relax. We got to talk about this tournament, bro. Yeah. I ain't carried away with a damn intro. Patch? Oh, damn. We're not supposed to be on Patch? What the fuck? Damn, I threw. How did that happen? Did I stop saving these bitches? Oh, well. We're talking about the tournament. And then I just deleted all you guys. Oh, well. No, nah, I didn't save something wrong. I failed. I can do this. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. You know, it's a lot of work behind the scenes here, boys, that I do. Little old me. One day they'll look back and say, damn. W really, he did a lot of work, you know. Some people just play Madden. I can't lie, all that driving cooked up a lot of ideas, boys. I'm just I'm just telling I'm just putting it out there. I cooked up a lot of ideas on all that driving. Especially driving in the night when you don't have anything else to do. I cooked up a lot of ideas. Who we got winning the tournament real clear? It's simple, it's easy. Let's talk about it. You guys can give me your answers as well. Here it is. Here it is. The bracket. Uh, this will be November 19th and 24th. Is that like a real answer? Or every day in between? Or is it just two days? What is the word? What is the... Like, what is this? That's a nasty-ass break-off. So there's a 19th and then we wait all that... We wait five days for the next one? Okay. What day is 19? Friday? Google Calendar. What day is... I? Come on, boys. Qu answer these damn questions fast so we can keep it moving. Friday. Okay. 7 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Here we go. 
Uh, I mean, we hope, I hope Clef wins. We hope he wins. Yes. Uh, I think Henry beats Gabagol. So he moves here. Noah and I swear I talked about these questions already. No, yeah. So some of y'all like Gabagol over Henry. I mean, Henry has laid down in every tournament. Like he's gotten to every tournament and then proceeded to lay down in eight straight tournaments. Like he really has. Like as much as like yeah, like as much as you know, you've made all these tournaments, and he's laid down in every single one. So. I don't know if that's going to happen the first game, though. You know, I don't know if Gabagol is that super crack. Straight man to man. Tuesday pod next week. I'm so glad you brought that up in the middle of us talking about the tournament. That's a great question to bring up. In fact, you know what? I you I just don't don't want you in here for the rest of it. I just don't want that type of stupid shit. Jesus Christ. All right. No one cares about his tournament. Just watch what the GOAT dubs slay in seasons. Uh, MJ, that's... I mean, people care about a tournament. I mean, I don't really know if people care about a tournament. I don't know. I like to watch it. I love to watch it. I do. It's fun to me. It's exciting. I don't see pressure, pressure players and people show up. And that's what Henry hasn't done. So, I don't think he loses the Gabagol, though. I think that's... I think he moves on. But I said, if does John repeat? Well, considering John is not in the fucking bracket, is he? Is John? Is John Beast in the bracket? Uh, let me look through the names again. Gabagol, Henry, Noah. Neat. Matter of fact, let me let me do this real quick because apparently some of y'all can't read the names. Okay, Clef, Kerry, Mister Football, AI Nash. Let's scroll over here. Nini, Noah. Gabagol and Henry. I don't see John. Did I, let me go back over it again. Let me go back over it again. Clef, Kerry, Mr. Football, AI, Nash. Um, Noah, Nini, Henry, Gabagol. Okay, well, he wasn't there. I was right the first time when I said John Beast wasn't an option, but I'm glad Mr. Dots asked that question. And this, you know who, who Mr. Gna He's a fucking guy that goes right up to Sally at Home Depot. Where are the shark bites? Excuse me. He's that guy. Me, I think before I open my mouth. Just a little bit. Just a little bit I put two and two together before I just open my mouth. Holy shit. Sally! I was listening to audio only, man. Okay? When I wide talk. And then they have an excuse for being fucking stupid. God damn, dude. It's like, bro. It's okay to say, damn, I was, I was wrong as fuck. That's all you got to say. Damn, I was wrong as fuck. It's all right. Everybody's been wrong before. I was wrong. 2007, it was crazy. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a rainy day. I got home around 6 o'clock. And I realized I was wrong. First of all, let me tell you something about Alpha. Self-checkout is the most overrated thing in the history of... Self-checkout is the most overrated thing in the world. In fact, self checkout. If you, say, I feel like you're an idiot if you self checkout. I'm be honest. It's not goaded at all, unless you can hold your shit. If you can hold all your items in one hand, if you can hold all your items in one hand, then you can go to self checkout. I don't self checkout. Shit, you're an idiot. But we'll talk about that at rapid fire. Let's talk about it. Matter of fact. Forget the tournament. We'll be here Friday. We'll watch it. My picks. Henry wins the first game. Uh, I like... Oh, I feel like Noah's smart. But I like Nini. I think I like Nini to go to the finals. I think I'm picking Nini to go to the finals. I really do. I think I'm doing it. Nini in the finals. Just as I'm picking it. Over here, I got Clef going. Forget the other three dudes. I think Clef floods in the first two games. I think Clef floods carry. I think I think Clef floods the first two games. Then Clef will be in his third final. I think maybe fourth final. In a lot of finals, Clef will be in a lot of finals. You know what I'm saying? So he's getting. So he's going to get his chance. Clef not losing to carry. Nope, not happening. Clef don't lose to the finals. 
He not gonna lose to these these three dudes. Not knocking off Clef. Not happening. There it is. That's my pick. So I'm gonna have Clef versus Nini. Clef to God. Three straight floods. I'm be honest. Three straight floods. Three straight floods. All right. Those are my picks. Who do you guys got? Give me one name that wins the whole tournament. Come on, one name. Matter of fact, give me the finals. Who's your final? X versus Y. Who do you got in the finals? I guess I got Clef over Nini in the finals. Who you guys got? Who you guys got? Noah over Clef. Okay, 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 okay. Noah versus Carry. K Mac like some nasty. I Carry going. Man, Carry's always good, but this, bro, he's, he not, Carry not being Clef, bro. Nah. Okay, good questions, good answers. Yo, Mr. Dots, bro, something wrong with you, bro. I swear to God, something wrong with you. We'll see. I'm excited. We will see. Uh, Alan, you have checked in. There he is, Alan. What's up, buddy? How are you? See, that's what I mean. I got to treat him different than y'all. I can't just roast him the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Did I hear about Young Dolph? I, I'm be honest. I don't got my notifications set. I don't know who Young Dolph is. I don't know who that is. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know what he does. You know. You know what? What drives me crazy? What's everybody's fascination with caring about other people so much, so goddamn much? Why y'all care about other people so much? This dude, Young Dolph, died. Who is Young? I don't know who Young Dolph is, dude. I don't know Dolph. I don't. I honestly don't. He got shot. Jesus. Was he good? I mean, I'd like heard the name, but I couldn't tell you what he looks like or anything. Yeah, I mean, I probably got him somewhere on the list, but not my favorite. He was murdered buying cookies. Shit's sad, bro. Shit's sad. I feel like... Yeah. Just... At some point, you like... <laughs> yeah. Expensive cookies. What? what do you want me to tell you, dude? I feel like you shouldn't be anywhere where you get shot. I mean, I don't know how famous this dude is. Is he like millionaire famous or is he like Joey Jihad street rapper still? I don't know. That chat brought up some dude said Dolph. I want to know what happened. I don't understand why people like really be. I don't know. I've never I've never really cared about celebrities at all. Really. He was in his hometown, so he was in like downtown Memphis. I feel like, I feel like people, I feel like rappers in general, like, it's not cool to be in areas like that, right? Where you can get, I don't know where you got shot at, but I feel like people hold on to, I want to be in the hood forever type of shit for too long. Like, that's just not cool, bro. Right? I feel like if you got, is the second you should want to leave, you should leave and stay there, right? Stay out, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like. You can do you can do so much for your community and you don't have to like live there, right? I don't know and I don't know why that's frowned upon. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? I don't know why that's frowned Oh. And then that's what the peep the crabs in the barrel, right? The the crabs in the barrel will say, Oh, you won't be in the hood and they'll try to clown them. Like like why is that a bad thing? Why do you put like a a negative stigma of being able to move somewhere nicer anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
It is haters. That's all it is, man. It's just crabs in a barrel, bro. I don't know. Who knows what happened? Who knows? I really don't know, man. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Shot. I don't know nothing about Memphis. I can't even tell you. What's the no money spent team looking like? But I do, in general, not necessarily this, not necessarily this instance, because I or in what this example, this Dolph fella. Um, but I do think people put a negative stigma on being successful enough to move to a better neighborhood. Like, why is there anything negative in that? You know, I feel like that's, I feel like that's the crabbiest thing to do is is clown somebody for being able to move to a nicer neighborhood, right? I feel like that's stupid. But, you know, this is what it is. Mitchell Mills? The real Mitchell Mills is here? Wow. No, nah, for Rogers. Memphis is one of the most dangerous. All right, rapid fire. Let's talk about Memphis. I said I got Clef beating you in a tournament. A lot of tournament talk today. We'll be here Friday for watch party. Little bites go crazy, G. I can't hold you. Little bites do go crazy. Haven't had little bites in probably ten years, but they do go crazy. Everybody leaves the hood, dude. That, but that's how Meek. Dude, Philly, I, f I swear, like, Philly hates Meek more than the rest of the rest of the, the country. For real, for real. It's like, why would you, why would you go back, for real? <clears throat> what Starbucks drink? I drink, get coffee. I get the blonde roast. How much money did I spend on diesel? Probably $500. Maybe 600 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Monopoly character, you gotta go top hat. Top hat is top hat or the car. You gotta go top hat. Top hat has swag. The top hat has character and swag combo for real, for real. Is John going back to bad, bad play coach? There it is, four months. Mr. Doss, we, I swear we talked about best. I swear we talked about best. We just talked about best superhero ability. If you had one ability, it would definitely be flying. It would be the best ability. Imagine being able to fly. Best food I had was... I don't know, dude. I didn't eat no nice. Well, I just ate at my cousin's house and stuff. First time smoking. I don't even remember. I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you first time smoking. I couldn't tell you. That's crazy. I really couldn't. Best tailgate ever was Eagles NFC Championship game, I think. Or I know it wasn't NFC Championship game. That was a good one. Eagles NFC Championship game. That was a good one. I went to the Eagles. Eagles versus um, Seahawks when Carson Wentz got concussed on by Clowney on that spear tackle. That I had a good tailgate that time with the boys. But the NFC, the NFC Championship game was was lit. Y'all be asking like dumbass questions, bro. It was my first time ever in Denver. I've been to the Eagle Stadium. I've been to the Brown Stadium, the L.A. Coliseum, and Minnesota for the Super Bowl. That's the only NFL stadiums I've been to. And then now 
Denver, for real. Respect rapid fire, you're right. Podcast on Tuesday was finals on Wednesday. Yes, the podcast is normally on Tuesday. However, straight man to man, the reason it's on Wednesday is because I was on vacation. I just came back today and I said, let me do a podcast, make sure I keep up with my 152 straight weeks of podcasting. That's why we're on Wednesday. But I'm glad you asked about that. That was a good, glad you wasted one of your questions on that. NFL MVP this year, Jalen Hurts. Scared of the boys this year. The boys is who? The great one. The the Cowboys? I'm scared. What, are they going to rob me? Or are they going to, like, come come get me in my sleep? The boys? Like, what? The Cowboys? I think the Cowboys are good. I mean, I think the coach is kind of a nitwit, right? I think even Cowboys fans will tell you that Mike McCarthy's a nitwit. You know, uh, I think their defense has gotten a lot better. And Dak is really good, right? The Cowboys are... I think, honestly, the, the biggest thing that's going to hold them back is the coach. For real, for real. Boxers or briefs? Like, what type of... Like, why would you ask that? Why would you sit there on your phone or your computer and said, let me ask this guy what draws he wears? I'm 34 years old, bald, fat Madden player, and you ask me what draws I wear? That is what you thought? Like, that's the most... That's the biggest L ever. <laughs> like, like, what? Like, seriously. Anytime Mr. Dots laughs at your questions, you know you asked a dumbass question. No, right now I have on gray boxer briefs. What brand do I have? Hanes. I'm a Hanes guy, I think. I'm a Hanes guy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the boxer briefs are elite. Hanes. I'm a Hanes guy. Walmart specials. Dude, if you spend money on underwear, you're a fucking loser. I'm going to be honest. It's as simple as that. Malo definitely buys some pretty ass underwear. Polo, let me get my polo underwear. You're a you're a loser. Period. 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 Like honestly, on, I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, I could, there, there there's probably not a worse thing you could buy than underwear. For real, expensive underwear. Like without a doubt, it's got to be the worst thing you could buy. Jesse, 43 months, heavy. Calvin Klein underwear. Like, for real. Why? Like, seriously, why? Now, see, socks, socks, you can see what you're, you know what I'm saying? You can see what your gear. Socks kind of, socks add a lot to a suit. They do. And honestly, socks, I've never put a pair of drawers on and said, holy shit, this is better than Hanes. I'll be honest, Hanes kind of keeps the boys feeling good. I'll be honest. And they're really girthy. Like, they got nice thickness. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be uncomfortable. They'll keep you kind of warm. Now, socks, I, I can see. Now, the Elite socks that are like $20 a pop, are they're a little OD. $20 a pop for socks, that's pretty stupid. But I definitely buy Nike socks, the regular standard ass, white or black with the Nike. I definitely buy those, yes. Yeah, it's eighteen dollars for one pair of socks, bro. Come on, dude. But I definitely but go on. I go on like Amazon and get the thirty pack of white Nike crew socks for over. But I wouldn't be mad if you go cheap socks. I'm not. I'm not mad at it. But underwear. First of all, if your underwear can be seen and you're over the age of seventeen, oh, you're a loser. You're a loser. You're a loser. Now, if you're like my man, what's my man? My man Rel or Mitchell Mills, you might could do the, the pants sagging. You might could do that. Or Geronimo, he's 16 with a grill. Geronimo definitely sags his pants, right? Now, he might have to buy a little more expensive underwear. But if you are 17 plus... If you had have if you have had sex before and you're and you sag your pants, yeah, you're a child. Not in 2021, maybe in like 1997. It's terrible. You can't fight. You can't. Why do you sag your pants? You can't run. You can't even sit down right. You can't stand up fast. You can't do 
shit. Somebody gonna punch you in the mouth and you can't fight back. You can't run. You just gonna fall. Like who? Like what the hell? No, they can't run while they... Listen, let me tell you this. If someone could run while their pants are sagging, imagine if they didn't have a sag. Imagine if they had them joints pulled up. They'd be Usain Bolt. So they're still holding themselves back. Pull your pants up. See, Geronimo, by the time you pulled your pants up, you done got wop wop and you already down. Just sturdy. Y'all are, yeah, you are, yeah, and soon, yeah, so, that's what he's saying, as soon as I got a fight, I'll pull my pants, so it's gonna stay up, once you start swinging, it's gonna stay up, damn, I missed the tourney talk, did you make it off the one ladders, I don't even know, I hope I did, we'll check later, Vex, I was just like, I, bro, the, the, the pants sagging, I don't understand why, I don't understand why, what, why, why are your draws out? I don't think I ever had a pant sag. I don't had the big ass pants, but I don't think they ever sagged like that for real. I don't think I I don't think I ever the sag was whack. When you pull your pants up before can nobody that sag their pants fight. Nobody can sag their pants fight. For real. You think Floyd sag his pants? No, Floyd don't sag his pants. His He got joggers on at all times. Have you ever seen Floyd in something other than joggers? Hell no. Floyd be having joggers on in his suit. Like, he got a suit jacket and then joggers. Floyd always ready to fight. Them 28-28s. Hell yeah. I'm telling you. Can't nobody, you, yo, you think Kimbo ever walked around with his pants sagged? Hell no. Kimbo never sagged his pants. You know what's crazy as I say that? Y'all probably don't know Kimbo. That's what's crazy. Nah, Kimbo ain't never sagged. Dang, dang, Kimbo had jorts on. That's what I'm saying. So I never understood the expensive underwear. That, I feel like that's stupid. Like, we waste money on a lot of stupid shit, right? What's some stupid shit you waste money on? Hockey or soccer? Hockey, 1 billion percent. Hockey is the most underrated sport in the world. The problem with hockey is that it's it hasn't gotten to mainstream... If if hockey ever got to like black culture somehow some way, dude, it would it would it would pass pretty it would be right behind basketball and football, it really would. But it's impossible to get there. It will never get there, never will. But that's the problem. It's it's just sheltered to one culture and honestly one area of the world because it requires ice really. For real. My oh, man WD with the five months. Yeah. First of all, hockey is, it costs way too much. Right? Then you need ice. If hockey don't cost a lot, you need ice. So you need to live somewhere where ponds freeze over, which is rarely anywhere really in America, honestly. Like even Pennsylvania, ponds aren't freezing over that you could ice skate on them shits. So that's why Canada is so Canada, Russia, uh, you know, Sweden, all that, they're good at because it's so far north that the ponds freeze over, they can go outside and play. For real. Yeah, hockey would be unreal. Like, if, if, if black people ever was like, yo, hockey, then the stigma of it makes it, they don't even be, like, wanting to watch it, for real, for real. So that's what holds it back. Like, it's only on, only half the world, half the country watches it, for real. Whereas football and hockey, or football and basketball, the whole country watches it. Exactly, Panda, you only need a ball. Same thing with basketball and football, really. The one thing about basketball and maybe soccer, you can play by yourself, too.
Minnesota. Yeah, your pond's got to freeze over, for real, to be able to play outside at least. Or have buku money. But hockey is definitely really, it really is tough. What other questions y'all got? Yeah, nobody's playing hockey in Florida or, you know what I'm saying? Like, but people got to understand that hockey is a weather, it's a weather, like, dictated sport. And honestly, race is a weather dictated thing too. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody playing hockey in damn Jamaica. Ain't nobody playing hockey in Mexico, right? Ain't no ice. (laughs) It's the only sport that's probably like weather. And honestly, that's why the South be, the athletes come from Florida, Texas, Cali, because there's no winter. So they're playing outside for 12 months a year. Where up here, bro, it's cold as shit in the winter. So you don't go outside. So that's why... What you gonna call it? That's why, you know, the Florida puts out the best athletes. Them dudes are chasing rabbits twelve months a year. Eagles need to draft safeties and linebackers. Yes, the Eagles will have three picks in the top twenty at least. I would go to, I listen. The beach is high key trash, bro. But it's probably over a swimming pool. I don't know. The beach is a damn... That's a chore almost. For real. The beach is a chore. Because the only way you go to the beach... You got to have a chair, right? You got to have like two towels. You got to have some type of umbrella. Or maybe you want to tan... Otherwise, you're getting... I'm just saying. It's a chore. So, you got to carry all this shit. Women are everywhere. i am tell you that right now. They're everywhere, dude. Women are at the beach. Oh, no shit. They're at fucking Macy's, too. They're at Walmart. You know what? You know where they're at? They're, they're at the supermarket. One day, I'm going to wake up and say that. No, I'm saying. The beach... T- tailgating is high-key a chore. But so, okay. It's just not comfortable to me. Because it's, it's. I'm bald and white. And you get burnt. Like. You, I got to put on tons of. Because first of all. If you're going to carry all this shit to the beach. You're going to be there for how long you be at the beach? Five, six, seven hours? It's an all day thing. You don't carry all that shit out to the waves. And be there for an hour. All right? Right? It's an event. So, you go out there. It's hot. You like sweating. There's sand everywhere. You got sand in your ass. You got sand in your food. Unless you're like a super nerdy, like, okay, let me pack my sandwich in a Ziploc and put it on top of and we're there's no way to get the sand is everywhere. That shit is uh, that shit invades everything. There's no way to stay out of the sand. It's a, take a blanket. So now we're on the sand. Now we're on the blanket. You can't move. You can't move on a blanket. I don't know how big your damn blanket is. That but you gotta you got so you bring a king size blanket. Put on. How do you get on the blanket? You gotta run and jump on the joint so you don't hit the sand. Like come on, man. It's no way to keep the sand off. Bro, the sand is getting on the blanket. Unless you're with some old ass people that don't move. Because you gotta eat. You're gonna eat, right? That's my point. The sand. I'm saying the sand is just annoying. It's just like everywhere. It's annoying. What's the best thing to practice to get better at Madden? Check out my YouTube. It'll help you out, Banks. There's a boardwalk. Absolutely. So you so you don't eat on the beach. Okay. Understood. So, like, do you go to the beach and then, like, on the way back? No, I'm saying. Most people eat on the beach. Most people have some type of food, snack, drink on the beach. Right? Okay. Y'all don't eat on the beach.
Beach is trash, bro. Beach is trash. The beach volleyball is elite. Now, the football on the beach is kind of cracked. I'll give you all that. Beach volleyball? No, that's... I wouldn't call that elite. If beach volleyball is elite, your bar for elite is fucking low. I'll be honest. Born and raised in Hawaii. Beach is trash. Shit is trash. Volleyball is fun. No doubt. She plays volleyball. She's like a volleyball sweat. My girl's a volleyball sweat. Volleyball sweat. But it's not elite. Thoughts on a cruise. I went on one cruise. I went on the ghettoest cruise ever. I went on the ghettoest cruise probably of all time. So DJ Khaled throws this cruise, right? It's like the turn up something cruise, all right? Some shit. But I don't know nothing about it. Why would I go to a DJ Khaled cruise? Carnival cruise, yep. So why would I go to a DJ Khaled? I went, I'm like 30, I'm like, at the time I'm like 31. But some dude emails me, though we need a Madden player to, to, to be a personality for our Madden tournament on the cruise. We'll send you the cruise. So... Meanwhile, I'm like, this is bullshit. But I answer them, like, with the eyes, like, hmm. I'm interested. And then they said, bring whoever you want. Uh, they literally said, bring whoever you want on a cruise. We're going we're gonna to pay for your room, send you down here to Miami. We'll fly you to Miami, get you on a cruise for free. I said, okay. And they said, who else would you want to bring? So I brought my man, my main homie with me. I brought him with me. And then I, I asked him, Bo, he said, no, he couldn't go. Then I brought Clef. So Clef and Skimbo was the guys I asked, and Clef came with his brother. And, you know what I'm saying? We was on the cruise. But the cruise was super ghetto, dude. Like, cuz, you had to pay for every drink, so nothing was inclusive. There was no food on the There was, like, no restaurant, right? It was just like, bro, it was like a free-for-all for food. <laughs> it was like, dude, it was like, like little-ass restaurants. I think the food was included though. You could just get like free food and shit. It was no restaurants if that's what if you know you couldn't sit down and eat. Like I'm I'm old, I'm trying to sit down and eat. Right? But it was just like burger, the burger place, a seafood place, and like a pizza place. And you had to kind of cycle between those three. And then they had breakfast buffet. You know what I mean? Like a big ass buffet for breakfast you could sit down. But they didn't have a restaurant, right? So we're on here. The cruise just went from Miami to the Bahamas, and that's it. And came back. So that went like it went like a mile, right? Right. So, but the the drinks were not included. I had a, I probably had a seven hundred dollar bar tab for the weekend because I Clef tapped out every night. His brother tapped out. My man then tapped out. I was I was I was I was going strong. I was I was real sturdy all weekend. I was sturdy. Um. The first day we went down there, that's when Cardi B came back. Cardi B came out. Everybody everybody in my squad was passed out for Cardi B. I was the only one in the middle of the crowd, like, woo, woo, hype. Got, got like, right by the stage. I could, like, almost touch her ass, almost. I didn't, though, but almost. 700 is unnecessary. Yo, Mr. Dots, I swear to God, 700 is unnecessary for drinks. Dude, I want to... I just literally... This guy, dude. This fucking Mr. Dots guy. Why would you not dance to Cardi B? Why would you not dance to Cardi B? Are y'all too cool to dance to Cardi B? Are y'all not excited to see Cardi... Like, wh like what? Y'all the same people talk about Dolph. Everybody was excited about Dolph. But I can't dance to Cardi B? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly, RC. 700 is too much if you spent on underwear. You're right. Female rappers are kind of trash. Nikki, Nikki's the best female rapper ever. But 
Cardi B is pretty bad. I wanted to see her, right? I mean, she's pretty, she's pretty, she's pretty sturdy. Cardi B, right? Pretty solid. If Meg was there, I'd, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty solid. She's pretty solid. So I would, I would go up. So, but anyway, the, 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 it was super ghetto. So they never even had no Madden tournament. We ain't even had to do shit. We was just there on the cruise, which was cool. But I didn't know that. I always thought I had to do something. Right? So we didn't have shit. We didn't have to do no. We was just on the cruise. Then we had like a a, a three hour was the only time you could go off the boat to go to the island to swim in the ocean. It was like three hours. <laughs> you, you the the boat park, right? And then they send you on these little ships to their little bullshit island they got. Now, the bullshit island had, like, it had burgers again. We eating burgers. And it was like, yeah, we had, like, like three hours. Probably because we woke up late, but you had to be back on these little boats by, like, 3 p.m. So, and then I remember waiting in line for the boats because cause everybody, you know, everybody, everybody was late. They wanted to get on the last boat. I, we probably waited an hour and a half in the damn... Son, all the beer they had was hot as shit. It was rough. I'll never forget. It was rough. I don't like the sun. I'm going to be honest. I don't like the sun. Oh, it was rowdy. Oh, it was definitely rowdy. And it was get Bro, it was ghetto. It was the food. Was, bro. <laughs> it, was, it was a casino on the boat, though. The casino went crazy. The craps on the cruise? Crazy. Definitely went crazy. Who else was on it? Uh, who else was it? It wasn't Future. Somebody else. Somebody. Somebody else crazy performed. Uh, oh, Post Malone was there. Yo, Post Malone is a dub. I'll be honest. Post Malone is tough. Nobody fought. Nobody fights around them all. But that was the only cruise I went to. I never want to go on another cruise in my life. I never want to go on another cruise in my life. All right, la your last rapid fire questions go. I did not hear Post Malone's new song. Y'all got ten more questions. Go. Post Malone. I mean, Post had me. He he. Post is the guy that makes you just want to do drugs. I'll be honest. Why do people say ass or tits? Why is that a good question to y'all? It's. Not, I mean, if y'all want a Christmas tree, get a Christmas tree. Why? Uh, who cares what other people what they do with their Christmas tree? If you want a Christmas tree in July, put that joint up. I never play Halo. I've never been a Halo guy. I was a PlayStation guy. I feel like Halo is for nerds. PlayStation dudes played Call of Duty or Gears of War. Oh no, wait, not Gears of War. Gears was Xbox. What did people play on PlayStation when the nerds were playing Halo? Halo is cool. I'm not. I'm not saying it's whack. I'm just saying I didn't play it. I was a PlayStation kid. Uh, you gotta go real tree for sure. You gotta go real tree. I guess I didn't play video games. Spyro, M M MSG, what the fuck? I mean, wing spot? Wings are kind of ass. This is how I feel about wings. This is how I feel about wings. Wings are elite, but I'm disappointed about 95% of the time when you order wings. Right? The elite wings are undefeated. But when you order wings, they're either not done enough or they don't got enough sauce or they're mushy or they're shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like. But elite wings are 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 tough. But I will tell you, 95 percent of the time, I'm disappointed. I always feel like wings could get cooked more, could get fried harder. I've never got wings and be like, oh, these are fried enough. No, nah, I've never felt that way. That's how I feel about wings. For real. It's like. And wings can be wings can be terrible, right? Like pizza has a has a high floor. Like the worst pizza is not that bad. Right? The worst pizza. But the worst wings, you can't eat them. Like if you get like wings, like little Caesar's wings, oh man, dude. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's what she does, Jesse. That's probably the best, honestly. That's why I'd be kind of salty to order wings because I feel like she could buy the wing dings, put them in the air fryer, and it's better than anything you really get at any store. For real, for real. And I will tell you, Wingstop is pretty, is pretty much as good as it gets, right? Like, it's pretty solid, pretty legit. I like Hooters. 
pretty solid. But always feel like, yeah, I could have made these at home a little bit better. For real, for real. I do like Hooters. Top Thanksgiving foods, I mean, I'm a stuffing guy. I don't know which Thanksgiving food is bad. In fact, we did the tier list uh, like a week ago. Thanksgiving food is pretty legit. I don't know which one is bad here, boys. I really don't. Uh, mac and cheese, the turkey. I just get a. I don't over. I don't like too much turkey. It's it's kind of super mid, right? Turkey like the first. If you eat it the first hour, it comes out the oven. It's kind of it's really good. But then once you let if it sits too long, that should need that should get dry as fuck. But mashed potatoes, fire. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Thanksgiving is probably the best holiday for real. Holiday is just about holidays are just about spending with your family, and then Thanksgiving is you don't gotta buy nobody shit. You don't gotta worry about people buying you shitty gifts, like, right? Like you don't gotta worry. You don't have no stress of buying people stuff or people buying you shit. It's just go chill with your family, eat. That's all. You know what I'm saying that's all. That's it. And then it's either Christmas or Thanksgiving. What other holiday is in discussion? Right? New Year's is trash. New Year's the trashest holiday ever. Fourth of July, it's not over Thanksgiving. Easter is not over Thanksgiving. Why is the Fourth of July good? You don't eat shit. You just see fireworks. Fireworks, another overrated thing. Have a cookout. So you can have a cookout. I'll be honest. Thanksgiving is better than a cookout. My man dealing with four, nine months. That, would you rather have a... I mean, a good barbecue is kind of fire, but I probably think Thanksgiving. The thing about Thanksgiving is so rare that you get that meal. That meal is different. Like a cookout, you could, have, you could eat barbecue. You could eat burgers and dogs once a week easily, right? That's what makes the Thanksgiving meal better than the bar, than the cookout. That's what I'm saying. Solo, that's what you watch ESPN for the hot dog eating contest. Do y'all watch that? I'm saying I'm taking Thanksgiving over July 4th. Maybe y'all will. Maybe y'all like July Fourth more. I'm a big, I'm a big patriot. I like America, right? America's the best country, so I like July Fourth too. But I'm just saying, I'm taking, I'm taking Thanksgiving over Fourth of July. Just me. Best thing about Thanksgiving is Black Friday. Okay, Becky, Dizzy Lime. I hope you have fun going to Black Friday. I went to Black. I went out for Black Friday one time. Went to the outlets Black Friday midnight. Never again. Never ever ever again, dude. Oh my god. But it was kind of before like Amazon and all that shit. It was probably fifteen years ago, honestly. The chaos of but why. Like, bro, it's like. Like. I don't understand it, dude. Well, let's talk about a deal you can get for Black Friday. Let's talk about the best the best deals you can get, right? TV deals. One, this is how I feel about TV. Once you got a TV. It's not something you need to buy every ten every every year, right? Am I wrong about that? I feel like, all right, I got a 70-inch curved TV. I'm going to have this bitch for like five plus years at least, right? This bitch is taking up, hey, yo, that's in a room. Then we got the other 60-inch and another, like we have, you know what I'm saying? So like how many TVs are y'all buying? That's what I mean, like. 
<laughs> if you need an upgrade. I don't know, dude. I feel like I go into Walmart every day. Not every day, but I probably go into Walmart or Target or Costco. Costco, when I buy my next TV, it's probably going to be at Costco, bro. Them motherfuckers be having an 85 inches for like 1200 But Okay. A ba- Yo, you all some y'all backup TV. Because I'll be walking there like, I'll be trying to convince myself I should buy this 85-inch TV. Record for what? What are we talking about? Not the oldest belt winner? Are they older than me? Oh, they got to lose then. They got to lose. Yeah, you ain't lying. That's why I don't do. That's why I don't do Black Friday, bro. I'd rather get a good gaming monitor over a good TV. I don't know what video games y'all be playing. This how I feel about monitor. The monitor shit is nerdy as fuck, bro. For real, it really is. This how I feel. We all casuals, right? Y'all not going to pro and call of duty? Listen, it's no it's no monitor, goggles, controller, or shit that's going to make me better at the game. It's really not. I, I firmly don't believe that. And people get led into thinking that's going to help them. For real. Am I wrong? Like, like people really think like, I, I really don't think that's what I'm saying. 144 hertz. So like, come on, dude. Oh, I had to try. I had to try, Ed. I had to I, listen. I will try everything, but. But but PC PC matters to do what? What are you doing on PC? Like on PC, it matters. It matters to do what? To be a little bit better casual. You gonna be? You gonna be a little bit better casual? You gonna you gonna beat your friends a little bit more? Come on, man. I just, I just don't feel like somebody. If you're ass at get, getting better equipment, not gonna help you. I don't got the control freaks. I mean, I'm not get any better. Fuck no. It's not the arrow, it's the Indian, bro. For real, for real. Oh, it definitely feel good to get new shit. For real, for real. I'm a Nike guy over Adidas. I think Adidas is like whack. Not whack, but Adidas is secondhand compared to Nike. Shit, Jordan's even secondhand. Nike is the, the top of the top. Now, all right, Jesse, that's a good point. Can y'all miss, miss, mismatch brands? Can y'all do that? I'll be feeling a little weird when I do that. Well, I saw some crazy nice Adidas joggers, but I didn't really want to get them because, like, everything else I have is Nike. Do y'all just miss, do y'all just miss? I'll be feeling a little weird. I never really crossed that. I, yeah, I never really crossed that, that line. But I don't know. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I, I'll be feeling a little bit weird about it, for real, for real. Adidas be having some nice ass like suit like jeans not jeans but like you know pants and shit like that. They be having some nice jaws. Yeah, I really don't know. 
I don't have any chains. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I've never been a jewelry person. I feel like men shouldn't be sparkly. Right? I don't know what the... I don't know what the obsession with jewelry is for a man. I don't understand it. Do any of y'all have jewelry? Like, what's... I don't know. Why is Christopher up? All right, buddy, you go sleeps. We got a long day tomorrow, Christopher. Yeah, you got all you got all tomorrow to play with your toys, your steering wheel, your lawnmower, everything. I love you too, little guy. No, for real, like talk about your. My bad, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go read. I gotta go read what y'all said right there. I mean, I feel like a watch is a little more classy. I don't know. I, well, talk to me about jewelry. But why? Like, what? Like, what's? I don't know. I got, I got the Samsung watch, but I only got it because she bought one and they gave her one for free. So I don't really wear that shit. When I was like eight, I wanted to pierce the ear. I don't know, man. I'm not a jewel. I feel like you're just not a. I'm just not a jewelry person. Like that's all. You know, that's fine. Some people just some shit's not for some people, and that that's fine. White shoes are kind of a L. I'll be honest. They're a super. They're, they're really the cleanest looking shoe, but they really only last like that one time, bro. Well, I bought the white. I bought white. Oh, what Adidas I got that are like, I don't think they're called Boost. Are they called Boost Adidas? Like, the casual ass Adidas. I don't know. They're almost like, they're almost like socks. They're comfortable as shit. But I had the black ones. Ultra Boost, right? Yeah. I had the black ones. I'm like, all right, I'm going to grab the white ones. Like, all white with the gum bottom. They had, like, the gum bottom. Them joints was clean as shit. In fact, I wore them on that cruise. Nope. One time. After that, they were cooked. <laughs> they were cooked, bro. And then, this is the thing about white shoes. Once they're dirty, they're, at, they're terrible. You look like a crackhead. Even a little bit dirty, you look like an absolute crackhead. For real. What is NMDs? I don't know what. Let me see. Yeah, that's what I had. NMDs. These joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These joints right here. Yeah, I had these joints. I had the all black joints. These are the I had these. They were clean as shit. I, yo, these are clean as shit. These joints. For real. I had these. But as soon as they get dirty, you're cooked, bro. You're just they're just ass after that. For real. All right. But I only had two unbearing quests. I denied both of them. They were whack. Target's way over Walmart, Juicy. I know he doesn't. I, I booted up the game earlier and he didn't have Raiders. I was kind of I, like I kind of really don't even want to play because he doesn't have Raiders. It's kind of whack. Alex Walker, two months. Let's go, boys. Mule Tank, Life Thief, four months. Mule Tank with six. The boys going crazy tonight. I mean, Walmart's right by the crib, so I, I mean, we go to it a lot, you know. Like cases of water. What else do I get from Walmart a lot? 
soda. I'll get like if I gotta hang a picture or something, I'll get some hangers, some anchors and stuff like that. Tape. If you want some any tape they got there, you know what I'm saying? Sushi from Walmart, yeah, that's a dub. I think so. Look at this one. This one's a dub right here. Coke Zero, Cherry Coke Zero. Gotta be a dub. It's kind of a dub. I'll buy a steak from Walmart. Zero sugar. I don't really fuck with sugar, dude. I, I really don't. Not on. Not in drinks. I feel like. I feel like when it's a sugar drink, I get that sugar. Like first of all, you get that sugar like overload in your mouth and your throat. Like you know what I'm saying, and it makes me keep drinking this shit. Like, if I had a two liter of, like, straight Coke, I would drink this shit all the time, bro, for real. But when there's no sugar, I can sip it. It's good, and I'm not, like, addicted to it, for real, for real. I don't really kill these. Like, I don't really just, I'm really not, like, addicted. I don't really, like, kill these drones all day, for real. I don't like high C at all. High C is like, I feel like that's for eight year olds. High C. Yeah, I don't, I don't get jiggy with that. High C. You know, that's, I don't do that. My man Zai. Two months. Let's go. All right, boys. This was New Podcast. Like I said, I don't have none bans. I only had two. It means I'm banning a lot more people this week. I'm banning a lot more people this week. All I mean. Hi, peen drinks the hell out of high C. Facts. I'm banning a, a, just a ton more people this week, boys. Pictionary. It's Trivia Wednesday, boys. <laughs> Trivia Wednesday. What I've said. This was the Neil Podcast episode 152. 152? What's going on? Is he okay? What are you looking for? One fifty two. The boy is still up. It's ten o'clock. I have to watch him at eight thirty tomorrow morning. So hopefully hopefully get some good sleep. Hopefully the boy gets some good sleep. <laughs>